Hi, I'm Dean Dodder. I'm the developer of uh, Dust and Elysian Tail. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit as I show off some of the game. End That's the, the hero, Dust. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. And his companion, yes. Fidget. Very nasty. We should go around We're jumping game. ahead about two There's hours into the game route. to kind of show off uh, some, some new areas that I haven't shown a whole lot of before. Well, here goes nothing. So Dust and Elysian Tale is an action platforming RPG with an emphasis on a, a crazy, crazy combat system. Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't We have a fully voiced cast of over 40 uh, talented actors and actresses. I don't see anything, Fidget. All cast and directed by uh, Devin Mack. He took on the monumental task of recording thousands of lines of dialogue and casting from hundreds of actors. I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh, hush. And here's our first taste of some of the combat. So Dust is actually uh, a bit of a dark story. I brought on a friend, uh, Alex Kane, to help me co-write. He originally came on as an editor, but uh, helped me basically tie everything together and just give it that extra bit of polish. So you'll find with Dust that you'll spend as much time in the air as on the ground during combat. One of the goals was to make it look as flashy as possible even for button mashers, if you don't really know how to play these kind of games and you just want to smash a few buttons, you can still make it look pretty flashy. But for those who want to take some time and learn the system, they'll definitely be rewarded. And here we've leveled up. So you get some gems to assign while you level up. Here we'll make Fidget a bit stronger which uh, affects her projectiles. It's getting really hard to see. The music in the game was handled by a couple here. friends of mine at uh, Hyperduck Soundworks. They also hand handled all the audio and uh, some additional music by Alex Brandon, who's an accomplished musician himself. Anyone who sees that map, anyone who's like a fan of Metroid or Castlevania should feel right at home. It's uh, an open world. You have a world map and separate regions that get unlocked via quests or by earning new abilities. Beautiful. Do you think the villagers know about this place? That's Aura, who completes our trio, our party of three. All the white projectors being thrown around are uh, thrown by Fidget, and Dust can manipulate them to make them even stronger. So it's pretty easy to get a number of characters up in the air. There she switch projectile types, and you earn a few during the course of the game. So you can see up in the top right, we're getting a pretty nice hit chain. Of course, there are achievements tied to that. So it looks like we've taken a bit of damage at some point. We'll open up the inventory. Here's some food we've collected. You can also purchase food from shops. So we'll eat this thing. And I will assign it to the quick item slot, which you can use uh, on the field during battle. We'll equip some armor and augments. Over there you see a blueprint. You can craft uh, dozens of 
items uh, if you have blueprints and if you collect the right materials. Here's a treasure chest, and you get this little tiny uh, unlocking minigame. So one of the goals with Dust um, was that I, I wanted to basically make a high-def version of the kind of 2D games I used to love. And with uh, current technology, you could do some really amazing, uh, like, organic maps. I paint each little piece, and I can, like, arrange them and create uh, a nice variety of levels and combat arenas. This map showcases a very simple puzzle. Here we have a destructible wall. But it's much too strong for your weapon. So in addition to the hand-painted backgrounds, uh, dust is hand-animated. I use a separate animation system for the creatures but Dust himself actually uses most of the memory uh, available to me on the 360. Because he's hundreds of frames at a very large size. But it's what gives him that fluid motion. And I think uh, most people are surprised when they start playing it and they realize that as well animated as he is, uh, it does not supersede uh, fast combat. There is very little animation priority. You can cancel and evade out almost anything. What Dust did is actually pull a bomb with his Dust Storm. So I was always a little disappointed that with the technology we have that there wasn't more uh, 2D games. And uh, I wasn't a programmer, but I I wanted to dabble and, and kind of see what was a, what was possible. The game is created through XNA. And as I learned more about programming, I realized how powerful the current consoles were and what you could do with them. And that eventually turned into this game. Dust, wait. This creature is too well defended. Here we're going to show off the uh, parry technique. We'll see about that. Ah. <sighs> That was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Very well. Be careful. <laughs> There are a large number of unique monsters uh, and and NPCs to talk to. There are being an open world RPG. There are villages full of characters that will give you side quests that'll open up new regions. Just to flavor the world a bit, and they are all fully voiced. Sure, but it sure did run off. This has triggered an update to a quest. And here's the quest screen where you can see active and completed quests and any notes you've found. Again, we're showing a very small part of the game here, uh, this cavernous area, but there are a number of different themed areas. Got a fairly decent combo going up there. And here I'll let this creature hit me to show off one of the status ailments. What 
is this? You've been poisoned. When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. As you can imagine, creating several portraits for each character, sometimes up to 10 per character, with over 50 characters was quite a large amount of artwork. Stop pretending you're so tough. But I didn't really want just static images of characters, and I felt that it paid off. There, we're healing the status ailment. Well, that shows a bit of uh, Dust and Elysian Tell. It's uh, coming August 15th exclusively to Xbox Live Arcade. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I thank you for your time.